How to measure for bay windows. First of all, decide if the product is going to be face fix or top fix. Things to consider are long curtains or short. Is there a sill around the bay? Is there a batten around the bay where the track or pole can be fixed to? First of all, let's look at a face fix option. Imagine a line running around the bay where the brackets will be fixed to. This line may be above the frame for a curtain pole or along the frame if it's a curtain track. This is called the profile line. Once you have decided where this line will be, draw out the bay. Then letter the points around the bay, starting from the first left corner. Now measure from A to B. And note this measurement, then from B to C. Lastly C to D, and note the measurements. Now we need to take the cross measurements. These are used to accurately draw out the bay in the workshop. Measure accurately from A to C, and note the measurement. Now measure accurately from D to B, and note the measurement. Finally, measure from A to D, and note the measurement. Your diagram should now look like this. It's important to note on your diagram where the pole or track will be fitted in relation to the profile line. In this case, it's face fixed to the profile line. However, if the track needed to be top fixed, we need to measure how far it is in from the profile line. And note this on the diagram. For larger bays, the principle is exactly the same. Identify a flat profile line around the bay, as before. The profile line doesn't need to be at the top, it could be around the floor. Just establish a reference line to use as the profile line, ideally where the product will be fitted. Once you have decided where this line will be, draw out the bay. Then letter the points around the bay, starting from the first left corner. Now measure from A to B, B to C, C to D, and so on around the bay. Taking note of the measurements, as before. Now we need to measure accurately from point A, to every point around the bay. A to C, A to D, A to E, A to F, and note the measurements. Now repeat the process from point F. Accurately measuring to every point around the bay, and note the measurements. If the diagram is likely to look cluttered, note the measures in a table like this. Don't forget to add the units used. Square bays are exactly the same. In this case, we've chosen the sill as the profile line because the track will be top fixed, about 5 cm in front of the coving, with the curtains running along the sill. So we need to measure how far back from the profile line the track will be. In the previous example, the track was measured in from the profile line. In this case, we are measuring out or back from the profile line. Whichever way, it's important to note this on the diagram. Measuring a curved or semicircular bay window is slightly different. If possible, treat the bay as an angled bay with a series of flat windows and measure as before. If that's not possible, use a piece of old track or a wooden batten and mark along it every 10 or 20 centimeters. The length must cover at least half the width of the bay. The more graduations, the more accurate the measure for the curve. Now using a steel tape measure or laser measure, measure from the first point to the curve, making sure you measure at right angles to the batten or track. Note the measurement and repeat the process along the batten to the midpoint of the curve. Now do the same from the other side of the bay to the middle. Don't forget to measure the width of the bay. Your finished bay diagram should look similar to this. Remember to note where the track or pole will be fixed in relation to the profile line. Just remember. Establish a profile line. Measure around this line. Measure from the first and last point to every point around the bay. Note where the track will be fitted. 
it may be on the profile line, forward or in from the profile line, out or back from the profile line. Whatever the size or shape of the bay, the principle is the same. Be accurate in your measurements and note everything on your diagram.